Station. It's about 30 minutes from Tokyo. And I'm wearing a summer kimono today. It's called a yukata. And I'm gonna go see the fireworks. One of my favorite things about summers in Japan are the fireworks shows. There's like a fireworks show going on every single night all throughout somewhere in the country. I actually put the yukata on myself. So next time I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I learned it on YouTube. It actually took me a really long time. It took me a couple hours to get the hang of it. But I managed to even tie a bow, which I can't really show you right now. But um, we're late. The fireworks show has already started. So, um, yeah, see you guys when we get there. Bye! We're almost there. You can hear the fireworks. Oh, you can even see it. Ooh. We're getting closer. Can you hear it so loud? Like, I was worried that the show was going to get canceled because it's super windy today. Yokohama to see the fireworks. I usually go to the one in Tokyo Bay, which is really pretty. Um, and I think in terms of number of fireworks launched, the Tokyo Bay one is bigger, but I really like this one because it's really convenient. It's close to the station. Um, you can actually see it from Yokohama Station. And um, I kind of like this city-like atmosphere with all of like the apartments and buildings, the lights there, and then there's the fireworks in the back, so it's just like everything's kind of lit up. The fireworks are beautiful here, but unfortunately there are very few food stalls. There's only like one. And I'm gonna get some stir-fried noodles, yakisoba. <sighs> I think they're out. One more. You must say yakisoba. That's Okay, now I'm facing the wrong way. I should be looking at the fireworks, but I'm hungry. to go home. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna eat some some of my noodles and see what's happening. I hope it's not over. The show is over, I guess because of the wind, the strong winds. They decided to stop the show early. So I was like waiting for the grand finale and I had just seen it. I feel a little unsatisfied just because I thought there was gonna be more and it's like over, but it was really, really pretty. And now, Everyone's leaving at the same time. Look at this. So you definitely don't have to wear a yukata to fireworks. Obviously, you see a lot more people not wearing them, but it's just an excuse and an occasion for girls to dress up. You'll see, there are a few more. And yeah, see, guys wear it too. This is the price you pay to watch beautiful fireworks. At least Yokohama Station is a big station though. The closest station to the Tokyo Bay fireworks is Kachidoki Station and it is tiny. I think somehow we'll be able to get home. 